Welcome back to the time of your life. I'm your host, Ethel Rasmussen. March is National Nutrition Month. To share information about BCDA's Eating Together program, please welcome Anne Marie Real, Manager of the Nutrition Office at the Baltimore County Department of Aging. Anne Marie, welcome to the show. Thank you. I'm happy to be here. Before we start talking about the Eating Together program, I know our audience would be interested in learning about the origin of the nutrition program. Can you provide some background information, please? Sure. The Eating Together program is a national program that began in 1972 to promote social connections and nutritious meals for older adults throughout the United States. The program is supported by the Older Americans Act and continues today at BCDA's 20 senior centers and 15 housing apartments throughout Baltimore County. The meal is designed to meet at least one-third of the recommended daily nutritional needs. The nutrition aspect is, of this program is so important, but can you also share information about the socialization benefit? Yes. The socialization aspect is very important. Research has shown that social eating connects communities our brains register that we are safe and happy when we are eating with others, and our bodies are flooded with positive hormones and emotions. Sharing a common table increases social bonding and the feeling of well-being, and also enhances one's sense of contentedness and connectedness to the community. When we dine with others, we tend to eat slower and feel more full quickly because we often linger and have conversation. Researchers also learned that people who eat socially are more likely to feel better about themselves and have a wider social network capable of providing social and emotional support. In addition to BCDA's 20 senior centers, uh, I understand there are other sites throughout Baltimore County where the Eating Together program is offered. Can you share information about those sites? Yes. So currently the Eating Together program is also offered at 14 senior apartment residences and at the Islamic Society of Baltimore. Now, I know our viewing audience would love to hear about the program's menu. Ah, <laughs> lots of choices in the menu. Um, our caterers provide a standard menu to us, but then also offer some ways to mix up the menu. If a site doesn't necessarily want meatloaf on the day it's scheduled, they can change the menu for that day. Now, Anne-Marie, can you talk about the criteria for participating in the Eating Together program? Yes. So the Older Americans Act designated the Eating Together program to meet the needs of adults over the age of 60. So registration to the program is required and can be done at the site where the person is going to have their meal. Reservations are made with that specific site typically three to five days in advance. And if someone has made a reservation and needs to cancel, it is most appreciated if they notify the site so that someone on the waiting list can enjoy the meal. Amory, can you share information about those viewers who follow kosher, hala, dietary laws, or maybe on a special diet such as low sodium or diabetic? Yes, so we try to have all of our meals be low sodium because that's just a good decision for everyone. But we do offer a kosher menu at the Pikesville Senior Center, as well as the Weinberg apartment sites that are currently part of our program. The Islamic Society of Baltimore offers a halal menu. Um, can you share information about the cost? Yes. So one of the mandates of the Eating Together program is that individuals be given the opportunity to make an anonymous donation. This is managed by using an envelope collection system that is unmarked. The suggested donation amount for a regular meal is $3 and is $4 for the kosher or halal meal. The actual cost of the meal is $5.79 for a regular meal and $8.45 for a kosher meal. The special meals that I mentioned would be a higher cost, but not a higher donation amount. Anne-Marie, I understand there are opportunities to be a volunteer to support the Eating Together program at senior centers and nutrition sites. Can you provide a few examples of volunteer opportunities along with contact information for both senior centers and nutrition sites? So the contact information would be the same, and I believe you're going to provide that for all the viewers contacting the site directly. Volunteers is part of the design of the program that the Older Americans Act established. So some Samples would be advanced setup of the program, 
a receptionist to greet the diners when they come and check them off the attendance sign up. Um, assembling line servers, so the meal does come in a bulk and so we serve on plates. And then of course there's folks that are um, part of cleaning up at the end of the day and recording how the meal went. For those viewers who have questions about the Eating Together program, whom should they contact? It depends on whether the question is specific about the site or general. So they would call the Baltimore County Department of Aging Nutrition Office if it's a general question, and I believe that phone number is going to be placed on the screen. But if it's specific to the time that the meal is being offered, they would want to call the sites. Some meals do, um, some sites do offer dinner as opposed to lunch, so we want to be sure you're there at the right time. Amory, I know the Nutrition Office offers programs in our senior centers. Can you talk about those programs? We offer various programs focused on nutrition, and they range from one-hour presentations, like the current brain health program that we are offering. But we also offer a Healthy Eating for Successful Living, which is a six-week program. There are several evidence-based courses that are offered through the Department of Aging, and one is Diabetes Self-Management. Thank you, Amory, for being a guest on today's show. This is a wonderful program, and we appreciate your time to share all of the benefits with BCDA Eating Together program has to offer. You're very welcome. I hope I see your viewers out at an Eating Together site soon. That's today's show. Thank you for spending your time with us. Please remember you can call the Department of Aging's information line called Maryland Access Point of Baltimore County or MAP at 410-887-2594 with questions pertaining to older adults and persons with disabilities. This show may also be viewed anytime on the internet at www.baltimorecountymd.gov slash videos with open captioning. That brings us to the conclusion of this edition of The Time of Your Life, a National Mature Media Award winner about the services and contemporary topics that keep you in the know. Until next time, 